Good morning. Well, let's talk about uh, equipment because I want to. You want to be self-taught, and so that means that you have to have certain kinds of equipment. Now, one of the things that you will have to have because perfect pitch is relegated to a very minimal part of the world population. Perfect pitch doesn't mean also that you can know the differences between one note and another unless you've been trained on what one note sounds like in comparison to another note. So having perfect pitch is never going to help you if you haven't started playing the guitar. It's never going to help you unless you want to pay attention to what notes are and what sounds are. In other words, perfect pitch doesn't do you any good at all unless you are able to listen and compare your listening skills to something else. And if you're self-taught, you don't have that something else to compare it to. Well, lucky for all of us, we live in today's age, whereas something like this. This is a uh, tuner. Now, this tuner is a very cheap one. It costs maybe five euros. I mean, it, it, it came as part of a guitar package that I paid 40 euros for. <laughs> so, if you include the guitar for 40 euros, and then I got a little, uh, I got a... Uh, and it's not a cheap one, a, a, a case for the guitar. The guitar, and this tuner, which is made by Donner, it's called a Donner DT, DT2. Now, the reason that you need this is because you need to tune your guitar, or at least know what notes are. Now, maybe you don't want to tune your guitar, but at least when you put this on your guitar, it will show you what note that you are playing. And so you learn from that. You learn to listen. You hear a note on your guitar. You play it. You look at your little monitor here, and it tells you what note that you're hearing. And that is part of self-learning. You're learning to listen to what notes sound like and everything else. Now, I'm going to do a practical demonstration here. I've taken the time to tune this, my guitar, this full-size guitar, with uh, this tuner. Now, the reason I'm tuning this guitar as, of the, rather than the other is because this full-size is a Western is a Western guitar, and Western guitars have st steel strings from the top to the bottom. Well, for me, that doesn't work very well because of I don't know if I've heard you, if I've mentioned this in other videos, but yeah, I'm allergic to or the, the metals inside of the strings. So on this guitar, I have replaced the last four strings, which is what I had. If I had six strings, I would have replaced all six. But I only had four nylon strings. So I've replaced all the bottom four metal wound and, st and steel strings with nylon strings. Now, then after I did that, I took the tuner out and I and I tuned the uh, guitar to EAD GB, which is a standard tuning for a guitar. Okay. Now, we get to another part of the equipment, a capo. Now, a capo is a, a weird thing. Some people say that capos are a crutch or a hindrance or something like that. And because I always talk about plectrums and the crutch and hindrance that plectrums cause, we'll, call, we'll talk about capos a little bit. Now, capos will help you learn fast. Because one of the things about having a full-size guitar is it's like a piano because you're not going to use every part of the fretboard in every song. And so you want to be able to limit the fretboard a little bit. And that's where this comes in. 
Now, I'm going to put this cable on the fifth fret, which is the uh, approximate size of a half size guitar. If you put your cable on the fifth fret, then you're you're kind of tuning your full size guitar to a uh, somewhere between a 26 inch and a 30 inch guitar. It will start sounding like that. So now we have the capo on. It doesn't sound much different, but it, get rid of, with the capo on, there's not this boominess of having a four, 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 and the. Uh, and the bottom strings are a little bit tighter. Okay, so now we have the guitar tuned and we know the reasons why we have certain equipment. You need a tuner, electronic tuner, which you can get on Amazon. I don't care how much you buy one for, but if you're gonna be self-taught, this is something that you have to have. And if you also, if you're going to be self-taught, then you have to have a capo. Not because it's um, a requirement of self-learning, but it's one of those things that you always want to have at hand so that you can experiment a little bit. Experimentation is a very critical part of self-learning. And so now what I'm going to do here is rather than keep talking here, I'm just going to play this guitar for a while and try and... Uh, play a tune with a song that I have here. This is called uh, God Has Six Bullets. I'm not going to sing the whole song. I'm just going to sing enough to play the guitar along. And, and so I'm just going to go into a standard finger pattern. If you believe in a God, it's nothing new. Oh, I don't care, it's okay, it's something people do. I bring no grief, keep your belief. When I tell you my, I hope you understand. I believe that if God were a man, he'd be a gunslinger with a revolver in his hand. If you make a wish, then he'll make a demand or shoot you down where you stand because God has six bullets and all his stories in the same duck run or hide away he has a bullet with your name. Remember God has six bullets and you can't say the same. God is walking this earth looking for things to kill. He finds the ones out for fun. He follows their thrill. When God has his revolver, he sails the shining seas and over the burning sands. When God is on a mission, he flies the sunlit skies to take another life with his hands. A man without a conscience 
is a man without a gun and God has six bullets you don't want to be his chosen one science is helping us so we all can fight to be free because God has six bullets and all aimed at you and me Science is like a pistol, keep it close and right at hand, yeah. because God has six bullets, and he'll shoot you down where you stand. Oh, how this saga will end, oh, that's up to me and you. Because God has six bullets And he'll keep shooting till he's through Because God has six bullets And all our stories in the same Remember God has six bullets and one of them has your name and all the stories in the same and all the stories in the same now another thing about changing the strings because I will change the top two strings on this guitar I have nylon strings going all the way down is this if you hear this, metal wound strings have this residual sound. So when you change chords, now this is okay if you want to include that sound into your song or your or your melody but metal wound strings sound weird and I hate the way they sound they're too boomy they make this weird scratchy noise when you play them and they hurt you know I don't know if you've ever seen many times where people are always showing their fingertips when they're learning how to play the guitar because everybody does this. And I don't know why you do it. If anything you want to do whenever you start playing the guitar is you don't want to play until your fingertips are bleeding and you have cuts and scratches and just destruction of your playing instrument. Because this is only part of your playing instrument. This is the main part. And why do you want to destroy the main part of your playing instrument in order to show everyone that you played for six hours a day every day for six years I don't know I've never had this problem and I refuse to play the guitar enough even with steel strings to play the guitar enough to where it hurts or it does damage to my fingertips this is a myth and stupidity it's, and kids you just gotta stop doing it playing the guitar like that it just means that you're playing stupidly or you're just stupid I'm going to play out of here on a second because this video's gotten 15 minutes long and they tell me that you had to be on YouTube, your videos should always be 15 minutes long at least. So I'm going to play out here for a few seconds and then that'll make 15 minutes and I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I need more subscribers. But I'm going to be showing you the seat of the pants guitar crap. Feel much more comfortable knowing at least I'm getting it out to 50 or 60 people.